Hello lovely people, welcome to the Geek Covered, I'm Penge and welcome back to Mind Over Magic, where today I think the goal is to just keep working our way through the underschool to get enough arcane scrolls to then do the research we need to complete our exciting new lightning classroom over here. We're very nearly done, we're so nearly done with this. I think all we need is one little thing, we need an ion conduit, that's all we need. The rest of the room is kind of ready and done, we just need one of these. However, there are two things stopping us. Number one, we haven't got the arcane scrolls, we currently have 65 and we need 96 so not too far off not too far away we're closer than we were once upon a time but a little way to go so we'll try and get that sorted out but also down here to build an iron conduit we need some iron got loads of that that's absolutely fine some brains for some reason we can get those that's okay we have enough of those right now anemone cells and hooray i said it correctly we've got plenty of those however we also do need 30 ignium and right now, we have no Ignium at all, so maybe we should possibly try to prepare 30 Ignium for when we actually get that research done. Now, the only thing is, how do we do Ignium? Which of the refining beasts is Ignium? Is it you, Citrine? Is it you? Yes, it is. Okay, so we're going to need some iron, some anemone cells. Oh no, it requires the same things. And some thorn tooth. Okay. This is somewhat inconvenient because we don't have much in the way of thorn tooth and we need, oh my goodness me, we need quite a lot. Don't we need quite a lot? Hang on, how much was it? We need 30 igneum. We need 30 lots of that. Oh my goodness me. Okay, I mean, let's just say do 30 times. Uh, let's do that like that. So do that until, you know, do, do it 30 times. Let's get 30 lots of igneum sorted out so we can actually get one of those things crafted when the time comes. But we need the thorn tooth, and that is relatively hard to come by because, as we saw last time, it comes from the little sort of wandering vine creature things. Where are they? There must be one around somewhere. Where are you, wandering vine creatures? These things, what they're called, trapdoor vines. It comes from those, but they take quite a long time to grow. So yeah, that one is currently only on 14% growth, and then the fog is kind of in the way of the rest of them. So I think we're going to need to push the fog back quite a long way, and then maybe get access to a lot of those trapdoor vine things, and then we might be able to get some thorn tooth. But it does seem like quite a difficult resource to come by. It's not a straightforward thing. It's not like it's just, you know, all over the place. It seems quite difficult. And over here, there isn't any either. There isn't any here at all. Again, we're going to have to push the fog back a bit. Botherations. Okay, I was kind of secretly hoping that maybe there was one over here. I did think that was something for a moment, but no, that's fractal mold. Okay, right. So a little bit of an issue, even if we did get the research done in getting the resources we need to finish that room off. But at least we know what we need. We can try and work on it a little bit. Okay, now I think everyone's rested up, which is all very good. Now, one thing I was going to do is wonder why who is a new teacher who we rescued last time from in here, I think. Yeah, there was sort of trapped down here in a sort of a mysterious kind of curse thing with Bob. Um, oh, hang on. Void shrooms. Harvest all those. Yeah, we'll have those. They're quite good. Um, yes, uh, well, I think we put you, Wonderwine, on the night shift because at the moment we only have Uriah on the night shift. And it's probably a little bit lonely for Uriah wandering about on their own at night. So maybe if we get Wonderwine on the night shift, they'll have somebody to chat to. Uriah and Wonderwine can be sort of, you know, night shift best buddies. So I think that's what we should do. So let's go over here and yeah, that's the night shift look. So sleep in the day and then, yeah, they're working at night with a little bit of a break. OK, so I think then, yes, let's add Wonderwine into that list. They go out of the regular staff list and they are then going to work on the night shift. Okay, yeah, I'm quite happy with that. I'm okay with that. That seems pretty good. Yep, wonderful. So now will that mean Wonderwine is going to immediately go back to bed? We're scheduled for recreation right now and then I imagine you're going to go back to sleep <laughs> even if you're not tired. But there we go. You're going to go and do some dancing. Do you know what? Why not, eh? Why wouldn't you want to? Um, okay, um, we are being, oh, being, things are being destroyed by lightning. I kind of hope that our lightning rod there would sort that out. Uh, protects an area of your roof. I kind of thought that with it being the highest point for goodness knows how far around, I thought the lightning would hit that and not that just there. 
I find that a slightly bizarre game. If you would like to hit this piece of roof here game, <laughs> the magic floaty roof, that'd be okay. But no, it's kind of hitting the bits of roof over here. Um, okay, right. Never mind. Never mind. We'll do, that'll be just sorted out soon. Now, another goal that we have today. Oh, hang on. Hang on. Research. Let's do the research first. Uh, we can't do that yet. What are the research can we do that doesn't require a fancy scroll or two? Um, I think we've come to the end of what we can do down here without spending scrolls. I don't want to get that because that requires us to spend the scrolls. We're not going to do that. Um, that requires us to spend scrolls. That requires us to spend scrolls. That's done. That's a scroll investment. Okay, there is only one thing that we can do to just pass the time in terms of research. And that is just here. I believe it's right there. Undercover sleeping. We can unlock a canopy bed. We don't really need to unlock a canopy bed. We don't really need that. But you know, we're going to do it anyway. Because otherwise there's no research happening. And we might as well just sort of try and get through that. Cost no scrolls, 5,000 points. That's okay. They'll fly through that quick enough. So yeah, okay. Can we please get that research done? That would be wonderful. Um, and yes, one thing I would like to do before we wrap up the series um, is just get a little roof on this bit here. It might not be complete, this bit. It might not be sort of finished off um, because yeah, we don't know what rooms are going to go in where or whatever. But um, yeah, I would like to get a roof in. Because right now things in here are taking rain damage and it's not very good. So if we could get a little roof in, that'd be quite good. But, uh, but yeah, there's a little way to go, I think, to get that sorted. But yeah, if we could do that just before we wrap things up, that would be quite good. Um, so yes, I think then with everybody now rested up, which is good, let's send somebody down here. Let's go and do this, actually. The stone ruins. Let's open that back up again because that's another fight. It's only a sort of a two skill difficulty thing. We should be okay. And yeah, that means that we can get some more scrolls to add to the 65 we already have to try to get that research underway. So uh, yeah, here we go. If we begin with a little bit of a fight um, up at the front, do you know what? Let's put Willow at the front and we will put Yuri at the back. There we go. Wanderwine and Uriah have no path, apparently. Is that because they're on the night shift? No path. Uh, okay. That is unexpected. What does that mean? They can get down there as well as anybody else. They might be asleep or whatever. Unless something... Are they trapped? Have I some unreachable object? Have I trapped them somehow? What's happened here? Why are they unable to reach plain bed? Oh, no. The floor's collapsed, so they're stuck. <laughs> oh, I see. Yes. They can't get through, look, because clearly a wizard couldn't step over that gap. Oh, come on, a running jump in your beer, right? I mean, OK, Wanderwine there, a little bit fragile. Don't really want to fall over on the other side, but you, you'd be fine, Uriah. You could step over that. you got long legs. You'd be fine. Oh, dear. OK, right. That's why they can't go and do that then. OK, makes perfect sense now. They're stuck in the student room forever. Um, yeah, OK, we're not going to take any potions for this. We should be okay. So, uh, yeah, here we go. Let's dive in and have a little bit of a fight. Okay, here we go. Fight is underway. Let's do some earth armor to the people at the front so they can absorb a little bit of damage, which is good. Um, I think then do surging strength on... Who do we surging strength? I think the back row here. Let's get the back row with surging strength. And then Yuri can use a powered up dark magic to cause quite a bit of damage. Yeah, look at that. 65 damage on everybody. That is pretty good. That is pretty good. Okay, you've absorbed the damage. And again. And... Oh, okay. The might didn't get to go. Okay, I think it might be worth taking that thing out. Rather than doing earth armor, let's just get rid of an enemy. And that's one less thing to attack us, which is pretty good. Um, You could then... You still do have 50 armor. So you could do a quake on oh no 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 the quake affects not everybody it's a row isn't it okay never mind don't do that um you could do that then so do a bit of a whack with some stone in your face you could then do growth on that thing so when it does have a turn which is going to be soon we're not going to take it down before it has a go then uh, yeah it'll take some damage we could then do miasma again to cause more damage to the pair of them that's pretty good Look at that. That thing's taking loads of damage. Right, you've still got your armour, but now your armour has gone. So Willow's taken a little bit of a hit. Willow is also restless. Ah, 
will be afflicted with insomnia at three stacks. Okay, we have to get that sorted. We have to take these out very quickly. Um, okay, smash you. If we hit you, and then uh, who's next? Willow. Willow could then... Or do you do earth armor? I think... Do you know what? You do earth armor to absorb some damage. And then you can do... Oh, yeah. Willow is now down on oomph. Look. Okay. You do earth armor on yourself. You just protect yourself. That's fine. Let's get Yuri doing some stuff. You can then be boosted. And then Yuri can do miasma again to destroy that thing there. So that thing dies. Good job, Yuri. That thing takes a whack of damage. You're now being hit, which is good. And then just wail on this thing. And I think we should be okay. Right. Like that. And then, oh, oh, hang on, no, Quake can take it out. We'll do a Quake look, and boom! That's what you get for hitting me with weird effects, says Willow. Um, oh, 40 Mandrake crew. We got a level 2 Lightning Wand. Oh, that's not so bad. That's pretty good. Okay, that's, that's quite nice. The tanning rack is broken. Is it? In here? Why is that broken? Oh, has one of the ghost birds been pecking at it or something? That's a bit tedious, isn't it? Um, okay, right, never mind. Somebody will fix it. The little kind of quilted repair person will fix it up. Can it stop storming now, please? Can we stop having storms? That would be quite nice, wouldn't it? Um, yeah, we do need to get some more lightning rods in. But as I recall, they were also quite difficult to build. Um, construction wise, look at their lovely magic supports. Um, was it furniture? I still think some of these categories need sorting out. I wouldn't call a chimney furniture. Furniture, to me, is a thing that goes inside a room. You know, like chairs. Chairs, that's a furniture. Tables. Paintings and things. Um, I wouldn't call a chimney furniture or a weather vane furniture. Um, a lightning rod. Oh, no. It's iron and smoke sticks. We have got a decent supply of those. It's just getting them in place. It's getting it on top of the roof. Because if we put that there... That'd be quite good, but how are they going to how are they going to build it? Because they would just say, oh, we can't reach it. If we put that there, can they reach that? If we say build one of those. Now look, that's just that bit got destroyed. <laughs> Everyone's frantically trying to repair things. This thunderstorm is very, very troublesome. It's a bit of a nuisance. Right, Connor, quick check on you. How are you doing with your magic? Can you please go and do some final bits of learning? You are waiting to cast lightning. That's good. Um, I imagine there is a little bit of uh, a little bit of uh, issue going on with getting the teachers moving around the school because of all the floors that are being destroyed. Ah, there we go. Eli has completed their medallion. Okay, so that one is done. They're never going to get that one done. Never ever going to happen. That needs at least six students, and we're not going to ever have six students around because it'll just be too manic and too busy. And there's only four beds for them up here, I think. Anyway, and a five beds. So, um, so yes. Oh, uh, hang on. Why have you collapsed? Oh, you're sleeping. Oh, because the thing had broken still. <laughs> oh dear, that's not great, is it? Okay, we're trying to fix things up. This storm is raging for a very long time. If it could just go away now, that'd be grand. Um, oh, there we go. Thank you very much. Lovely. Wonderful. Right, there we go. That'll, that'll sort that out. Hopefully that lightning rod will be able to go in pretty quickly and start absorbing lightning hits on this side if we get another storm. And then if we can, we'll try and put one in the middle over here. We'll try and get one in the middle too. That would be quite good, wouldn't it? Right. Okay, there we go. So, 72 Arcane Scrolls out of the 65... No, 96 we need. That's what we need. Um, and Connor is, yes, very nearly up to the final level in your Lightning Magic. And then when you've done that, when you've got to level 5 out of 5, we will then go down here and do this kind of special Lava Mine dungeon. We have to fight three battles to get out. And I think at the end... We're going to face off against the Burrower Lava thing, because it's the Lava Mine, which Connor wants to take on single-handedly as one of your one of your medallion things. <laughs> which, uh, I admire your spirit. It's in the spirit thing. I admire that. Yeah, it, it's very big and very brave of you. Possibly a tad too ambitious, but you know, it's okay. So we'll try and do what we can to make that happen. I think we should be able to get that done. That means Connor will have all of their medallions, uh, and then Connor can go and do all these things. You can do the Oraculum of Speed and the Oraculum of Health. Then Connor can become a teacher. And then Bernard can retire. I think that's what we're going to do. We also 
do want to get in a gifted level two water wand user because yeah we're trying to get yeah, a good mix of the different kind of uh, different mix of the sort of schools of magic in and yeah with Bernard going we won't have any water people in so I think yeah if we could get the new water wand user in now can we do that we have got it it's sorted out it's there ready um we need I and mean, this is anything look 15 arcane scrolls and 15 adept scrolls so it's going to take 15 of our arcane scrolls that we're trying to you know, really, really scrimp and save on to do the research. But okay, we're, do you know what though? We haven't got that Igneum, so we can't build that thing in the lightning room anyway, even if we did have the research right now. So do you know what? Let's get that done, shall we? Let's get that done. Um, I don't know, Jarrett. Yep, yeah, you can go and do that, please. So let's bring in a gifted student, shall we? Let's get them in. And then we'll have three students again, which is pretty good. We need the students to go and look after all these sort of creatures and things. So that'll be quite nice. Um, and then I think we'll graduate Eli. The fog is advancing. We do need to push the fog back as well at some point. Spore cap and honey drop. Nowhere near. Nowhere near being able to push the fog back right now. We might need to wait a little while until we can push the fog back. But here we go. Hang on a minute. Um, are we on? Are we on F? I can't quite recall the na the next letter coming up for the name of the students. We had Eli. Um, I think Eli was the latest one. So is it F that we're looking at here? We are going to bring in another one. So if it's not, if I don't get the right letter now, then we'll, we'll have another guess at another student shortly. But um, I think the next student's name is going to begin with F. So let's have a quick guess at what it's going to be. I think it's going to be... Um, Ferdinand. Let's go for Ferdinand, shall we? It would be good if we could get this right at some point. Right, come on, run time on nice and quick. And let's welcome Ferdinand, unless I've got my letters wrong, and it, it doesn't begin with an F. Uh, it does begin with an F, it's Floor. Oh, hello, hello Floor, how are you? Okay, so you might well be sticking around, because you are a gifted mage, you're a level two sort of water wand user, which is very fancy. It looks very lovely. Right, what do you want to do? You want to participate in a ritual while full. Okay, we can arrange that. You want to overcome the burrower lava. Why are you all obsessed with the burrower lava? What's going on? You want to be full, rested and relaxed at the same time. I think that'll happen. You want to clean three messes. We can micromanage that. And you want to pet a refining beast quite a lot. Okay, these are all achievable things. Um, yeah, okay, that's good. And then can we just bring in a regular student? Can we just get in uh, another? I mean, we've got that level two lightning wand. We're going to try and get a lightning room. Shall we bring them in? Let's bring in a lightning wand person. Uh, we need another staff member. Um, do you know what? Paisley, we'll drag you away from your research duties. Also, Paisley appears to just not have a body anymore. <laughs> Paisley is just a head now and a wand. Okay, that's fine. Yeah, Paisley, it's okay. Uh, you're a ghost and all. Uh, yeah, let's do that then. So bring them in. The idea being to not keep them, because we already do have a level two lightning wand user kind of in the works, as it were. But um, yeah, we'll just get you in and just try and graduate you and stuff. And again, at some point, Eli is going to leave. Um, in fact, we might as well get Eli. Can we get Eli going now? Can we do that? Can we graduate Eli? Can these students attend? Um, no, I don't think the students can attend. That's a bit of a shame. Because they wanted to take part in a ritual, didn't they? One of the new students. But okay. So yeah, I think if we get rid of Eli now, and then we've got, yeah, the other ones coming in. We've got you, another student coming in. So we'll have Connor, Floor, and then one beginning with G. Okay, let's have another guess at the name. So who do we think it's going to be? Who is going to arrive at our school with a name beginning with G? I think it might be Gertrude. Let's go for Gertrude, shall we? Come on, Gertrude. Come on, we want a Gertrude in our school because Gertrude is an excellent name. Let's run time on nice and quick. Only takes an hour once people are here. Um, is Paisley actually on the way? Uh, ah, yes, you are. Okay, why do you use the stairs, Paisley? You're a ghost. <laughs> Just fly through things. Okay, come on then. Come on. We want a Gertrude with this, please. If it could be a Gertrude, that would be amazing. It's probably going to be something not quite as exciting as that. But okay, here we go. We're going to find out in a few minutes' time. And it is Jean. 
Okay, hello, Jean. I mean, it's it's a good name. It's a good name. There you go. Welcome aboard, Jean. Not Gertrude, but never mind. Um, so you, you want to dance in a recreation room 35 times. That will happen. You want to land the killing blow on three enemies. Okay, right. That can be arranged. You want to cast a learning stone wow, with at least six students present. Okay, that's never going to happen. Uh, cast while full at a learning stone 50 times. Yeah, you probably get that done. And also do some cleaning. Okie doke. Right, so again, sort of mostly achievable, not entirely achievable. Um, so now, do we just wave farewell to Eli? Is it time for Eli to depart? I think it might be. You do everything you can, Eli. So now I think we send you out into the world. And then, um, yeah, you can just go out there armed with the education you received here at the Geek Cupboard School of Geekcraft and Geekery. Uh, yeah, I think. Oh, no, hang on, everyone's in bed right now. Not right now. Let's not do it at the moment. We'll do it in a bit when people are awake. Oh, my word. <laughs> There's all these things are here. We've got loads of ghost birds. Um, Uriah, you're cooking honeyed gruel. Could you do some, could you do some fighting? <laughs> Uriah, this is your thing. You're very good at hunting, Uriah. Come and get rid of these ghost birds because they are, I mean, they're turning into ectoplasm, which is quite handy, but they are a nuisance. My goodness me. <laughs> so many of them. There were so many of them. Um, okay. Okay. There's a corpse over there. Is that part of the problem? Maybe I'm not entirely sure. Um, right. Okay, good. So there we go. That sorted. They've not done anything with that. Oh, no. They've put the iron in there, but not the smoke stick. Okay. Again, they'll probably get that done. Wonderwine is working on that at the minute, apparently. Okay. That's good. That'll keep them busy. There was something on the floor just there. Not quite sure what that was. And then, yeah, we do want to get some room set up here. But I think what we'll do is we'll just make sure that you yeah, have done some dungeon diving first, and then we'll do some of the building stuff. Um, but is everybody awake? Is everybody kind of ready? No, it's breakfast time now, isn't it? We'll run time on until... What time do they finish breakfast? They start at... Um, oh, yeah. Coming up to now-ish. So about now. So the day starts at 7 o'clock for everybody, look. Which is good. So 7 o'clock. Let us say farewell to Eli. That's not Eli. That's Gene. But here we go. So we'll graduate Eli... Now, Eli cannot graduate with honours because he hasn't got all of his medallions, which is a little bit of a shame, but never mind. So, Eli, there you go. And, um, yeah, Bernard can do it. One of your final acts, possibly, Bernard. So here you go, 13 Sabon Scrolls, not too bad at all. Begin that ritual and farewell, Eli. It's been lovely having you here. And you have been a good student. You've been very good. But, um, yeah, now you are free to you know do whatever it is you do out there in the real world. Go on with your magical education and go and do some exciting bits and bobs. We get the scrolls and Eli is on their way, which is wonderful. Okay, the entire day has gone by and the fog has just advanced. So can we now push the fog back with the new set of demands? No, we cannot. It still requires a great big load of spore cap, a great big load of honey drop, and we just don't have that. So we still can't go and push the fog back and get access to the little kind of thorn tooth creature thingamabobs, whatever they're called, the little kind of trapdoor vine things. So we can't get to them still. So we can't do much about that, which is a little bit unfortunate. Again, this game sort of, you know, it does hem you in a little bit when you want to do things. It is a little bit, you have to jump through a certain amount of hoops to do various bits and bobs, which, you know, I would like to get done a tiny bit easier, if I'm honest. It'd be good if we could get thorn tooth in another way. I don't know, by refining beast or something. Let's have a quick check and make sure that isn't actually something that we can do. Because that would be a bit silly. Can we make our own thorn tooth? Uh, no, not there. We can't. I don't think we can in here. I did go through and adjust Wubber's orders down here. They're making a lot more sinew and viscera and ectoplasm and eyeballs and brains and meat and everything else. Just because I thought it would keep them busy. There was quite a lot of it, and I thought, do you know what? Yeah, let's just actually go and do some more with you, shall we? You can just go and make a lot of gross-sounding things. Look, there you go, a little bit of ectoplasm just sort of popped out there, which is lovely. But, okay, so you can't do that, and I assume you can't make thorn tooth either. Bother. Um, is there anything that can make thorn tooth? I don't think there is. I think they are the four refining beasts that we've got. We've got the, yeah, the larvalina sty, the midden jelly, the weaver bird... And then the crone bug. I think that's it in terms of our refining bee. So I don't think there's um, there's any way for us to make thorn tooth. So we're just going to have to wait however long it's going to take. I don't quite know. 
until the requirements for the superior repel fog change and then we need different things and then we can push it back a long way i mean is that going to be one day or three days or ten days i don't really know i'm not entirely sure and our candelabra got broken but everyone's all over it look people are fixing things up in here which is wonderful um right okay looking good looking good can we go and destroy that um that crow -a nest please can we go and do that if somebody could get rid of that, that would be quite good. Because then I believe that will stop the crow respawning and such like. There is a crow a corpse right there. I wonder if that is. Yeah, you destroy that thing. There you go. So willows all over that. So you get rid of that. I wonder if, yeah, that crow a corpse is possibly a ghost that keeps coming back. Can you just eat that? Can you eat that? Uh, I'll just destroy it. It's fine. Just obliterate the thing. Or, or not. Or just go and do some teaching instead. <laughs> I thought, hang on, I just gave you, a, did I not give you a command? Maybe I messed that up, I don't know. Whatever the case, it's fine, right? Connor, have you not got up to this thing? Good grief, come on, Connor. We've been waiting for days for you to get up to this. Right, here we go, look. The final little bits of teaching are going to come together, and then Connor will, here we go, let's watch it happen. One final hit. Yay, Connor is finally up to speed with all of the magic that we know how to teach them, which is good. And we've completed all the research that we know how to do. Okay, right. So scheduling. Let us then put Connor onto... Do you want Connor to go into that one? Like a task-based thing? Yeah, Connor can go into there then. So you can do that because there's no point doing any teaching anymore because you're not going to learn anything. Um, what do you get if you complete that medallion? What is that? Uh, you move faster indoors. Okay, I suppose that's quite handy. So I think now, is it worth having a go at this? Is it worth taking this on with Connor on the back row so you can then take out the um, the thing, the burrow of lava? Because I assume that's going to be at the end of the lava mine. That does seem to be the case. So put Connor at the back. Try and protect Connor as best we can. Have Willow and Jarrett up at the front with the earth armour. And then possibly take Uriah to do some decent amounts of damage. Um, Connor, what can you do magic-wise? You've got Bolt. Ooh, 70 total damage. Slowing Strike slows people down. And then Recharge. Ooh, they gain mana and speed. That might be quite handy in this situation. Okay, yeah, do you know what? We're going to do it. It's only a one difficulty thing. We should be fine. So at the front, we will have... Um, yes... Jarrett and Willow at the front and then pop Uriah there and then Connor you can come in at the back there now one of you two was it was it Floor or Gene I forget um they wanted to take on the burrow of lava as well there is another sort of fire cave thing uh, a lava mine over there so they can hopefully take on the burrow of lava over in that party under school but um yeah I think that's what we'll do for here I'm assuming that there is a burrow of lava at the end of this I've got no idea I'm guessing there is but yeah, we, we can't tell for sure. We're just going to have to kind of wing it and hope there is. However, we are going to need potions. So let's take two of the ones which can give us greater recharging. I think maybe two revival flasks, just in case. Just in case things do go a little bit south. We'll take the ones that can give you some hit points. We'll take it like that. And that's 50 mana. That one can cause damage. I mean, in a pinch, that might be pretty good take one of those and then yeah do we take one of the smaller ones that recharge mana just in case we need to get a little amount of mana rather than a bigger amount although we have got 14 of those we might as well just take another one of those do you know what that'll do i think that's okay yeah here we go begin the battle let's see how we get on down here then this is going to be quite exciting because we've not yet yeah, we've put this off for ages that's been there for a very long time we've cleared out that entire bit across there and that bit across there as well. Uh, just had a thought there. In hindsight, possibly we should have done the Oraculum things first. But never mind. It's fine. It's only difficulty one fight. I'm sure we can muddle through. And everybody's here already. Okay. Uh, I mean, look, yeah. 110. 75. So if you at the front earth armour, the background here looks fantastic. Look at that. It looks very exciting. Um, so you could, you could flame lash that and take it out. But... I don't know. What's the best thing for you to do? I think maybe do a fireball on that. We'll try and keep your flame lash. Oh, 
Critical. Boom. Somebody in the comments did say, Fireball has a chance of critical. Why do you never use it anymore? It's a fair point. And that was, as we just saw, quite effective there. And um, so if you do a bolt level three strike on the Lantern Keeper, boom, that's quite a hefty hit. That's been absorbed by the armor, which is why you're here, which is brilliant. Uh, you can earth armor at the front just there. Wonderful. So now I've got two people at the front looking very tough. Um, you can just smash them in the face. Is that going to be enough? Yes. There we go. They are gone. Okay, so round one is done. Ironstone two. Arcane scrolls. Come on, game. Okay, now that's locked. So we have to go to the next one. Um, oh, hang, hang on. Pause time. So it's locked. Oh, I thought it would just sort of carry on. Um... I mean, begin, yes, with exactly the same supplies and the same people as before, please. Yes. Why are you telling us to sort of do this? <laughs> Just make it happen, game. Make it happen. Okay. So again, the same things. Not too difficult. It's a shame we don't keep the bonuses that we had before. The only thing is, yeah, they are going to run out of magic, aren't they? That's the only issue. So we have got the potions. Uh, right. So you, um, yeah, fireball. So, and boom, another critical hit. Okay, yeah, fireball is quite good then. Fireball is good. You could then potentially recharge Uriah just to help them get some magic back because they're going to be quite a bit. Oh, Willow. Willow's on 40 out of 90. Uriah's on 50, but Uriah is doing a good bulk of damage. Now, you can recharge them. Now, you've got lightning reflex as well, which is good. Right, you've absorbed some damage, which is lovely. Oh, you've absorbed even more damage. Um, is that Jarrett? Right, Jarrett can then earth armor at the front because that makes perfect sense. And then we go to you. Okay, so this is unfortunate because I don't want to spend loads of magic on taking out just 10 there because that's a bit rubbish, isn't it? Um, how about you do... Although vengeance isn't going to do much. How about you for now... Uh, Uriah, just pass, pass your turn. Pass your turn, get some magic back. There we go, you run 90 out of 90, that's pretty good. Um, you can then just smash them in the face. So boom, they go down, screamity scream, cheerio. Uh, right, and then you, if we do a bolt on you, how much magic have you got, Connor? 85 out of 130 is your total pool of magic. Wow, that's very impressive. Um, if we slow you down if we do that on the back in blast you with that that slows you down and then oh yeah they're perfect absolutely perfect so that we can get an attack in because we slowed it down and then Jarrett stepped in to take it out okay viscera stone iron arcane scroll okie doke right so the final bit ah okay now it's become a two tier difficulty um but pop into here same people same potions can't do anything else here we go. So pick up all your things. Head back into here. Is it the burrow of lava? Yes, it is. Okay, so Connor, you're going to be on your own at the end of this. <laughs> are you going to be okay? Are you going to be fine, Connor? So you are going to do earth armor. This is going to be really difficult. This is going to be very tricky. Right, here we go. The Uriah, because we helped them sort of you know, rest and recuperate a bit, they've got 90 out of 90 magic. So they can do a fairly hefty hit on that thing, taking down to 210 already, which is pretty good. Um, we will let you, I think, at the back, just pass your turn. Gain 15 mana, just rest up a bit. Connor does need a little bit of a rest just to get some magic top back up. You can do earth armor, which is good. So you can absorb some damage. It then has a go, but the damage is absorbed. Jarrett just absorbed all of that damage and yet no actual hit points at all. Okay, you're also looking a little bit worse for wear. Willow, this is your last go, Willow, before you run out of magic. So, okay, you whack that with a big bit of stone. 168 out of 320. You do... The chance of a critical is 50%. It could do 100... Da no, let's go for that. Let's go for that, shall we? So, could, but it was a critical... It's on 68 out of 320. So, okay, Connor now needs to take that thing out on their own. The only thing is, everyone else has to now run away. <laughs> Can you all run away, please? Um, 
Are you able to do that to yourself? No, you can't do that to yourself. Botherations. Unless, do we slow that thing down with... Well, that's 50... That's all of your mana. No, you can destroy it with the lightning bolt. It causes 70 points of damage. So you can take it out, but yet everybody is here. So, okay, how about then, for the moment, you pass. Everybody else now needs to run away. <laughs> Running away. Untargetable. Okay. It, it, it's gone away. Okay, the, Connor... Yeah, everything's going to be fine, Connor. It's all going to be fine. You've got potions. You've got potions. Um, okay, this is... This is Willow. Okay, Willow, you're going to run away as well. And you're also going to run away at the back of Uriah there. This seems a bit silly. You can then pass your turn to recover some more stuff. They vanished. That thing came back and caused quite a hit. Right. Okay. I think that's worked out pretty much perfectly. Now we have the showdown. Between student Connor and a gigantic, big, terrifying burrower lava thing. But one hit from this should finish that off. Kaboom. Down it goes. Two points of damage to spare. A slightly creepy close-up there. We get iron. Or we get stone. We get 15 arcane scrolls. And Connor completes their final medallion. Brilliant. Okay, and they don't have to go back and do any more schooling, because that does sometimes happen. They kind of pick up an extra point of magic, and they go back and do some more school stuff. But no, it's all done. Connor, you're about ready to go and become a um, become a teacher. What's that? What's that thing? A rematch effigy. Uh, burrow a lava rematch effigy. A statue contained the defeated spirit of the burrow a lava, ready to be fought again. Oh! Oh, that's going to be quite handy for the other ones who want to go and fight the Burrower Lava. Oh, that is useful, isn't it? That is very handy. Okay, right, we're back up to 76 Arcane Scrolls. We have got a lot of work to do down here. There are many things that need to be picked up and collected and kind of scurried away in boxes and things. So we'll let them get on with that. All the quilted helpers can come in and move stuff about and everything else. So yeah, that might take a little while. But there we go. We've done that bit. We've worked our way through that, which is brilliant. Um, what's going on there? Oh, another one of those void shrooms has grown down there, which is okay. That's fine. Yep, yeah, good. Sorting that out too. Wonderful. Okay, yeah, there we go. That went pretty well. That went okay. Well done, Connor. Very impressive. Good job. Right, here's my current plan. I think what we'll do is we will wait for the end of the day. The fog can then shuffle forward a little bit. We will then check what we need to push the fog back again and hope that the requirements have changed. And then it's no longer spore cap and honey drop because we don't have a lot of those. So it would be good if that could just switch around a little bit. So fingers crossed that can change because then we can push the fog back and then find those little kind of weird, whatever they are, trap vine creature things and get some thorn tooth out of them. So hopefully that can happen. And then also we'll run time on into the morning and then Connor can do the oraculum of speed, which is going to be good, and the oraculum of health which is going to be quite good. So make them quicker and make them a little bit sort of, you know, a little bit hardier. And then they will become a teacher. And then we can say farewell to Bernard. Bernard can then finally retire after his original buddies retired ages ago now, didn't they? The original teachers have sort of long gone. Bernard is the last one here, apart from Paisley, of course. But Paisley is a ghost and won't retire ever. So, um, so yeah, Bernard has been around for a while. So you've earned your retirement, Bernard. So very soon... That will be a thing. You can just go and retire and I don't know what you're going to do. Live out in a little kind of mage cottage somewhere. It will be lovely. But first things first, let's go and look at that. It's still spore cap and honey drop. That is somewhat irritating. But okay, fine. Yeah, we've got the mandrake root. Got loads of that. We just don't have the spore cap or the, um, the honey drop. Nowhere even near for either of them. Not even close. I mean, there is... There is honey drop. We could go and... Uh, do the quilted... Can the quilted things go and get this? Can the other ones go and get this? Maybe we could just stock up on it. Maybe they could. Um, yeah, there's some over there, look. There's some honey drop stuff over there. Not a lot, I don't think. And have we got any honey drop and spore cap stuff over here? Because if we have, we could just get our quilted buddies to go and help out with that. Let's give that a go, shall we? Uh, okay, a bit more over there. Wonderful. And then these things here as well. Just harvest those. 
Uh, and there's one there as well. Just harvest that. Um, okay, let's see if they do rush out and do that. Or are they too busy doing our gardening stuff? They might be too busy over here, possibly. I'm not quite sure. Um, people are getting on with stuff, though. No, people are over here doing stuff. Yeah, the night shift folks are working on it. So, um, yeah, now there's no research going on. Paisley's here doing loads of stuff. Okay, we're picking up various bits and bobs. It's, um, yeah, it looks like it's slow going. It looks like it's slow going. And I thought that, yeah, the little sort of quilted harvesters would help out. No, maybe they're doing the other side. Maybe they're doing this side. Um, potentially, yes. Look, there's, yeah, they are. Okay, they've done this side. Ah, okay. We've got various spore cap things going on. Right, that is quite useful. I don't imagine we've got anywhere near enough, but we'll take a quick look, shall we? Hang on, go back over here. Um, we can do a regular repel fog, but that's not really worth the resources. We need to do a proper one. Um, yeah, we still need over, well, just under now, 100 spore cap. So as good as it is that we've tried to grab those resources, it still isn't really going to fly, is it? We still need way too much of that. Okay, not to worry. Not to worry. Never mind. We'll just sort of... Uh, why is the ground flickering? Uh, we'll try and sort that out at some other point, possibly. We'll have to hang around for a bit and just you know, hope that on the next day, the requirements to push the fog back change and we can actually get that done because it's kind of, you know, stilting all of our plans at the moment. It's kind of you know, stopping us doing what we'd like to do, which is a bit troublesome, but there we go. Never mind. Worse things have happened. Let's have a very quick jaunt through the stone ruins, shall we? Come on, let's go and sort this bit out down here as well. Um, Connor, you can drop out of there and in there we will put Yuri on the back row and we won't take any potions. I think they should be okay. I think they should all be okay. So, uh, yeah, begin the battle, please. Let's just go down here and do some more fighting in the underschool because that's kind of today's plan, really. Okay, people assembling. Just realise that Uriah should have been asleep, shouldn't he? Because it's the daytime. But there we go. Ooh, boulder jaw. 560 hit points. Ah, okay. We didn't bring any potions because I thought, oh, we're going to be absolutely fine. Um, okay, earth armor, I think, might be quite an important thing here, everybody. Let's try and just, let's try and just be a bit defensive. Right, you can flame lash that immediately for 110 points of damage. That is pretty good. That's, uh, is that about 20% of its hit points already down? Um, and then I think you can shadow cloak. So if you shadow cloak... And then you can do your attacky thing. That's going to make it stronger, which is good. You can earth armor just to get some defense on the go, which is wonderful. You've then smashed us on the head, but it didn't cause that much. Why have they got 200 points of armor? Doesn't normally give 200, does it? Oh, okay. That's good. I'm not complaining. That is very good. Um, okay. Now we can just smash you with some rock. So, okay. Down to 408. We'll then fireball you. Because if we could get criticals on it, it's a little bit of a better use of our mana pool. Uh, we didn't that time, but never mind. Right, you can tentacle lash that for almost 100 points of damage. You pop out from behind your cloak. You can then smash that in the face. It's all right when it's something like that against one of our people. Uh, against one enemy, sorry. Against us four. That's not so bad. If there were like three of these, we would be in trouble. But the fact there's only one is sort of okay. We're muddling through just fine. And it doesn't seem to be causing that much damage, really. It's causing 55 damage. Oh, is that all? Oh, okay. Right, do another fireball on it, please. And kaboom, it's down to 116. Uh, do a tentacle lash, not a hidden one. Down to 61. Uh, oh, that's a bit unfortunate, isn't it? Okay, it is going to get another attack in. I think we should be able to shield it with the... Um, with the armor which is pretty good and then yeah just finish it off there we go and kaboom down the weird looking thing goes sorry weird looking thing smokestick wood another lightning wand and another seven arcane scrolls we're now on 83 83 of them at some point we will get up to 96 right can you lot recharge your magic and then just come right back down and do the next one um, oh, Jean's completed one of their goals. That's pretty good. Um, yeah, just come back and do this one, please. Exactly the same team. That works pretty well. So, uh, yeah, there you go. We have sort of told them to recharge their magic beforehand. There is a thing over here to do just that. So, yeah, there we go. They didn't get injured, so they don't need to heal up. So we should be okay. Rain is incoming. Oh, yeah, we need to do some building work as well, don't we? We need to go and do some building. We'll do that in a bit as well. But, yeah, the fighting stuff is... 
probably the more interesting thing to do right now. So here we go, another fight on the way. Jarrett and Willow then come in. What have we got? I don't think it's the last room in this. Okay, now there are three things. Okay, right. Earth armor, absolutely fine. That's only going to attack one person. Okay, uh, we'll then cause... Yeah, 110 points of damage on you. So you can take a fairly hefty hit. Uh, you can then shadow cloak yourself, because that is quite good. So you can sort of hide. It's a shame when they shadow cloak, they don't get an effect on the actual sort of character there. It'd look quite good if they sort of, you know, vanished or went shimmery or whatever. That would look very exciting. Right, you can do some earth armor. Up to 120 of it. Ow. Okay, that caused quite a bit of damage. Right, you are. Um, you could then oh, do you earth armor or do you quake the entire front row do you know what quake the front row because that's quite good that damages both of those and then we will fireball you and 50 points botherations we're not getting the luck in with that anymore um and then tentacle lash uh oh oh now uh, do you know what that'll take you out It'll take you out, and that's one less thing attacking us. One less thing causing damage. That's pretty good. That was absorbed by the armor. We will then smack you in the face with the big bit of wall. There we go. That thing's going to hit us. Botherations. We don't like it when that thing at the back attacks. Um, okay. You, I think, need to do some more earth armor. So you do that. Wonderful. And, right, you fireball. Get a critical, please. No. Okay, not getting the look anymore. Not getting the luck anymore with those. Um, you could then miasma all of the, the pair of them. Okay, so that's good. That's absorbed by the armor. That's pretty good. We'll smash you in the face with some stone. Down to 13. That thing is going to hurt us. Yeah, we are taking damage. A few people have taken a few hits now. Uh, let's just finish this off, shall we? Right, so smack you in the face. You go down. I think everyone else gets a go. So we should be all right. Um, flame lash with the tiniest bit of energy you've got left. And then, yeah, there you go. Sorted. Boom. Hit you. You fall over a bit. We get Wormy Podstone, more Lightning Wands, and more Arcane Scrolls. Still not enough to do one bit of research we need to unlock one of these sort of, you know, the things we need to make one of the special rooms for one of the, is it seven? Six, seven different schools of magic? So, yeah, it's really difficult to get things done in this game. You get such tiny rewards for doing all this down here. We could be here forever doing all this stuff. Okay, so now rain is incoming. So maybe with that in mind, we just get a very basic roof set up over here. Let's just get something set up in the middle here. Just, you know, put a few sort of, I don't know, a couple of rooms along here. Get a roof and that'll stop everything down here taking rain damage. Let's just get that done. And we've seen the building many times before. So let's just try and get this sorted. Um, I think what we'll do is, if we put a bit like that, can we then have a nice wonky wall? Yes. And look, it works. Um, we could put it slightly higher if we wanted to. So yeah, that looks okay, actually. That looks okay. So put that in like that. I assume they can reach that. Yeah, maximum wonk, please. All of the wonk is required. Um, and then they're going to need a door to move around through here. Of course they are. So hang on. Let's get a door. Um, in fact, no, just an arch. Just an arch will do. Just a nice sort of hallway bit will do the job. There's nothing really to stop them you know, walking through. Doesn't need to be a private room or whatever. These are just sort of, you know, things you could fill in at a later point. But right now... We just want to get a roof on this middle bit. Um, and then just pop a roof here as well. Just go, yep, yeah, okay, roof. Um, can we make it, uh, yeah, a bit, a bit like, there you go. That's all over the shop, isn't it? I quite like that. Yeah, okay, confirm that as well, please. And there we go. That should sort that out. And we've got plenty of wood. I've got almost 4,000 wood <laughs> Got so much wood, it's a bit silly. So loads of wood and stone and everything else. We've got plenty of materials to go building with. So we should be okay at getting all this sorted. That's, I'm staggered how quick that is. Oh, rain falls just, just before we had the roof done. That is a little bit of a nuisance. Hopefully they can finish this pretty quickly before the rain causes any more damage. Unreachable object. That thing up there is too high, is it? 
<laughs> why didn't you tell us that before game why didn't you tell us this before it's unreachable um okay right we're going to need to build some stairs or something i don't know just put whatever put some stairs in that'll do just any stairs unconnected stairs i don't care game i don't care just i want someone to stand here and fill in that final bit of roof because for some reason it was accessible and now it isn't and that's a bit irritating <laughs> okay right there you go look you can reach the top bit now it's okay don't even bother doing this cancel that and cancel that just somebody stand on there and do that roof bit please and da -da! there we go okay these can all go now these can go we can demolish these things right here get rid of those that would be lovely we don't need them unconnected stairs somebody take that out please take that out as we get rid of that and yeah we need some lights and things in here so let's make the rooms at least you know, look okay let's make them look nice so yeah we'll get some lighting and we'll get some windows because we like the nice round windows uh, we'll have one there and one there and then maybe in here look let's have a nice little sort of trio of windows shall we that might be quite nice and then we will also have um we'll put some candelabras in just because that does help it makes it nice and sort of bright and jolly which is lovely so we'll put that there and we'll have a candelabra in each of those corners and then just to make things look nice shall we just have this um what is that that's a light thing oh no hang on where were the wasn't there something the room should be light enough with all of those wasn't there something that is it furniture that made it look posh what was the floaty thing oh there solemn pedestal that was it just a little bit of luxury in these rooms nine stone and five ice petals we've got so many ice petals now it is a little bit ridiculous once upon a time we hardly had any and now we've got absolutely loads of them uh we'll put that just there yeah okay that's quite good could we actually and hang on could we if we can't do ignium which we're never going to get done we're never going to get that room done <laughs> can we at least get i don't know 40 frost glass and then at least we can get on with something what's where's the unreachable object now uh that window up there is unreachable apparently even if you stand on the top of those stairs is it is it really i thought they could have reached that you could reach that come on now we just add that going up a bit would that help <laughs> if somebody stands there I can lean over and just pop the window in. It should be near enough. Right, okay, there we go. Let's let them work on that. A little bit dark and gloomy right now. But the middle of the school is sort of complete and it's all got roof. So the falling rain is doing no damage at all to all of our things, which is brilliant. Right, the fog has moved. Can we do a thing? Yes, we can. Okay, we'll do that in the morning then. So we need 75 smoke stick. Got loads of that. Sent by a phoenix flower. Got an all right amount of that. Oh, and ice petals. 211 of those we have. We need 75. We should be okay. Right, I think then we'll let people go to bed right now. And then in the morning, when they wake up and they've had a little spot of breakfast, we will then get them to push the fog back. And then hopefully out there, there'll be loads of those vine thingamabob creatures. And we can get plenty of the thorn tooth out of them. Because we need all of that in the world to then create Ignium. To then build... Hang on, what was it again? To then build this thing. Uh, yes, that thing there. We've got one Ignium and we need lots of Thorn Tooth to make a significant amount more. I'm not sure we're going to get enough. I'm not sure we're going to get enough out of that. How much was it? It was... One Ignium is made from two Thorn Tooth. So if we, we need another almost 60 thorn tooth and you get not that much, I don't think, from from taking those little things down. So I'm not entirely sure we're going to get that done. We have a new auditorium. That's good. I thought we had one already, but OK. A chess smasher wanders the halls. OK, we'll have to deal with that at some point because that is going to be a bit of a nuisance, but it'll give us some scrolls, which is good, I suppose. OK, brand new day rolls around. Everybody's had breakfast. So I think we now deal with the chess smasher. Let's go and sort that out, shall we? And I think for the final hurrah, we send Bernard. Bernard, it's going to be your final fight because very soon you are going to retire off into a little cottage somewhere by the sea, I imagine 
conversation with Betty, of course. But right now, you're going to go and have one last little scrap. And I think, yeah, let's put you on the back row because you do work better on the back row. I think one of your spells is better if it's cast from the back row. We'll put you there in place of Yuri. I think we're going to be okay. I think this combination of people looks pretty good. They'll have to kind of prop Bernard up a little bit because he's only got water level three as his top sort of level. And you know, then we've got earth five and four and yeah, fire at level five as well. So Bernard is definitely the sort of the weak link in this, but we're only fighting chess smashers. I think we're going to be okay. I think we should be absolutely fine. So uh, yeah, let's begin this battle and get that done. And then after that's finished, we shall retire Bernard. Bernard can then go and then we shall recruit Connor which is going to be exciting. But here we go. Let's get this battle done first, shall we? Uh, it's just two of them. Chest smasher and a messy meddler. I don't think it's going to be that much of a problem. So here we go. You can earth armor and you can... Is it worth... Do you know what? We'll flame lash you for now. So you can flame lash. Boom. Down to 30. You could then torrent that. This is perfect. So Bernard on his final combat outing here. Yo, why is old Bernard now? is going to take out one of the enemy. This is great. There you go. And boom, down it goes. You've still got it, Bernard. Even after all these years, you've still got it. Well done. Uh, you can earth armor. That is brilliant. That's going to cause a potential bit of damage, but no, nope, absorbed by the armor, which is wonderful. We'll smash you in the face like so. And we will, do you know what? We'll fireball you. Let's fireball you. Oh, that was a dramatic angle, wasn't it? That was very good. Uh, oh, Bernard can finish them both. Oh, it's a it's a fitting send-off. Bernard, there you go. Well done. That was perfect. You've wrapped up your legend with, with a perfect ending. Look at that. That was fantastic. You've taken out both the enemy, and now that's kind of it. You now, Bernard, can retire in glory as the destroyer of the enemy. So here we go. Let's go and do this now, shall we? And I think here we can retire Emeritus. Um, no, not... Not, oh no, hang on. Yeah, Bernard needs to be retiring. So Bernard is the retiree, and all these people are going to go and watch. Um, I mean, who's been around the longest? I mean, Jarrett's been around. I suppose Paisy should come along, but Paisy doesn't have, um, doesn't get the sort of booster things. Um, maybe, I mean, Quincy's been around a while, and yet they, they dress very similarly. I think Quincy borrowed a little bit of style advice from Bernard. Um, and then we'll put maybe Willow. Let's put Willow in over there, shall we? Okay. So yeah, they've not been around for long, look, Willow, but 20 days together, they work together. So we get 22 Adept Scrolls, and you are retired to, I don't know, Emeritus level, Bernard. So here we go. Bernard is going. Begin the ritual to say farewell to Bernard. It's been brilliant, Bernard. One of the original teachers we had here. One of the original mages. But yes, you've done plenty, and now you've earned a bit of a rest. So begin the ritual. It only takes half an hour. It's going to take half an hour for Bernard to be on his way and get the final person. Here we go. Bye, Bernard. Cheerio. Oh, it's it's a bit of a sad moment, really, because, you know, he's been around since the very start. But I suppose, yes, he has now earned his time. Paisley just popping past. Bye, Bernard. <laughs> he floats his way up the stairs. And I think that should pretty much be it. And there we go. Bernard is gone. Bye-bye, Bernard. Oh, there we go. There we go. We knew it was going to happen. We knew it was going to happen. But now we can get Connor on board, which is also very exciting. So here we go. We can now um, hire staff. We can get Connor on board. Oh, no. No, we can't. No. No, we cannot. Because Connor hasn't done the things down here yet. Hang on. I forgot about that. Let's get Connor to do these, please. Um, yeah, Connor... Go and do that, if you'd be so kind. The ritual of rapidity is what you must now do, Connor. Go and get that done. Um, and can we push the fog back? Can we get somebody else to push the fog back? Oh, we could push the fog back 350. Hang on. 80. My math isn't that good, but surely 80. Here you go. Math of Pedro, everybody. 80, 160, 240. 320 should be 400. Maybe the maximum you can push the fog back is 350. Maybe that's the maximum you can do. Um, if we put somebody, if we put you in, does it make any difference? No, it does not. No, it does not. Do you know what? You can all do, oh, hang on, you two are asleep. 
Those two should be asleep, shouldn't they? Uriah and uh, Wanderwine should be in bed. Uh, Uriah's been fighting, so Wanderwine can get out of bed and uh, Uriah can go and have a little bit of a sit down. There we go, that'll do. Uh, okay, yeah, 350 repel fog. We're the bunch of stuff that we have, which is wonderful. Yeah, okay, begin that ritual. We're going to have to get that done. Uh, yeah, there we go. Everyone can run down here and then we can get Connor down here doing his sort of oraculum of uncomfortable being zapped by a laser box thingamabob. Okay, the teacher's working away very hard there. Currently the fog is 12 days away. I mean, is that going to go up to about 20 days? That'd be quite good if it did. 21 days. Okay, a battle awaits. Uh, let's have a quick look. Nope, because that's four skulls. No, no, no. Okay, we're not going to do any of those battles because... That way, madness lies. That way, dead people lie. Um, however, can we get some of these? We do need some of those, I think. We need some of those. Can we harvest that, please? Um, but then, yes, where are the things? Oh, hang on. We've got these. We've got the gloomy crystals. And our little uh, quilted mining helpers can come and grab these, which is pretty good. Uh, how are we doing for runewood? 462. Absolutely loads of it. Not so much of a demand on that. Um, right, where are these things? Where are the things? Where? Oh, don't tell me there aren't any of them. There's loads of unstable anemones, but um, you get two to three thorn tooth out of one of those. We need 30 of these then or so. Maybe 20 if we're lucky. And currently there is one. <sighs> okay, maybe we won't get the lightning room done then, because it just looks like a completely impossible job. Is there another room that we could possibly look at? Could we get the dark magic room up and running? I mean, that needs even more scrolls and things. That needs um, that unlocking, so 24, and then another 96 on top of that. But can we build that thing? Uh, the dark teaching portal is stone, spore cap, and void cap. And then it needs uh, it needs that, doesn't it? Frost glass, eyeball, spore cap, and void cap. Okay, maybe, even though I don't really want to, we might have to go down the route of the dark magic thing to get that room set up, rather than the lightning tower, because we just can't we can't get the the thorn tooth we need to make the ignium, because there just isn't enough of those creatures. There's just not enough of them around. Which is just a bit irritating, really, as it comes out of here. But it doesn't. Okay, never mind. Um, is that ready to be grown? 100%. Okay, harvest. Quincy, can you come here and harvest that thing? Let's see how this works. You've pushed the fog back. Here we are. Can we watch you harvest that thing? There's plenty of rats over there, which is a little bit bonkers. But okay, so we've got... We've got Jarrett coming along here as well. I'm not quite sure why. Are you coming along for support? I don't know what you're doing here, Jarrett. Um, you are... Do oh, you're mining. You're doing some mining over there. You don't really need to do that, but okay, no. Right, here we go. Look, you are harvesting that thing. Yay. Okay. I mean, do it quickly in case it traps you. Right. Three thorn tooth. Okay. And a trapdoor vine seed. Can we grow our own ones of those now? I don't imagine we can. Um, no. No, we can't grow our own ones of those. Which is also a little bit awkward. What do we do with the seed? What do we do with that? We're going to store it. Uh, Bone Fright is the name of the quote of care. We're going to store it. But a trapdoor vine planter. Ooh. Okay. Hang on. Trapdoor vine planter. How do we get one of those? Let's search for trapdoor. Okay. So to get a trapdoor vine planter, we need another... No <laughs> we need 96 scrolls, clear that, to get domesticated instability. Then research that, then research that, and then research that. To then be able to uh, get grow our own ones of those, to then get ourselves an iron conduit to finish that room. Again, this, this is the issue I, I do have with this game. And we've established it many times. It's really, really fussy with just building stuff. And the way I see it, a game like this, the exciting stuff is building new things, building a new room, getting a new thing in, getting a room upgraded. It just makes you jump through so many hoops. It's so complicated to do such simple things. But right, OK, there we go. There we go. So we've got a little bit of that. 
Not a lot of it, but we have a little bit. Uh, let's go back and look on the left. Have we got any of the trapdoor vine things on this side anywhere? No, we haven't. Not a single one. Okay, maybe the idea is then that you are supposed to do what we did. So go and harvest one and then start growing your own. Maybe that's what you're supposed to do. But yeah, that is a little bit daft, isn't it? Although there are loads of things over here. Loads of those little kind of crystal things that we can get stuff out of. That's quite fun. There are many of them over there. Okay, that's wonderful. Uh, we'll have that as well, because why wouldn't we? Right, so plenty for our quilted helpers to get on with, which is nice. Um, but yeah, we're not going to be able to get that lightning room done, even with the research. Because, yeah, we need to get another bit of research done to grow the right things we need to then be able to make the material we need to make the thing to make the research room work. <laughs> <laughs> Why game? I just wanted a shiny lightning room. That's all we wanted. Okay, Connor's done the Oraculum of Speed thing, which is good. So now, Connor, can you do the other Oraculum of Hit Points or whatever it's called? Oraculum of Health, that's the one. Um, yeah, so Connor, off you pop to that one. Mandrake Root and Sin, you got loads of that. So you go and sort that out. That would be wonderful. And then at least we can get one of the things done that we want to get sorted out to get you promoted to become a teacher. Which would be quite good, because yeah, then we've got ourselves a level 2 lightning wand user as a teacher, which we don't have right now. Got a few earth people going on, got a few earth people, but yeah, we haven't got a lightning wand user, so it would be quite good. Also, Jean has completed their magical learning already. Crikey's Jean, well done. Um, you haven't done any of these other things. You need to do some more dancing, that's never going to happen. And you need to do some more cleaning up. Um, I mean, yeah, hang on, we could do that right now. Clean grime. You could come and do that if you can get down here before the quilted sweeps go and do all that kind of stuff. But yeah, we can get that done pretty easily. Come on, get this sorted. We've got two bits of sort of grot round here anyway. And oh, no, that's some slob. There you go. That's one thing you can clean. So that's nice and easy. Uh, oh, it takes a long time to clean up. Just use a mop. Use a brush. Well, there you go. That's one of them done. So um, yeah, it'll take a little while to get that, I suppose, sorted with other things. But we got any grot over here? No, you're not making anything. You're not making anything. Um, okay, never mind. Never mind. Okay, we'll get that sorted as well, I'm sure. But yeah, we'll try and get a few more of these done for Jean. That one is a definite one that can be done. That one can. That one, I suppose we could take you along. But three killing blow on three enemies is relatively hard to arrange. It's relatively hard to organise. But uh, we'll give it a go. Um, and how are we looking for... Scrolls, 93. We're on 93 scrolls. Botherations. Okay, what do we need for any of the other rooms? Let me go and have a look. If we can't get the lightning room done, if we can't get that done, and the um, the dark magic room requires two scroll investments to get dark arts and then and darker still done, which might take a little while to get sorted out. Is there another type of room that we can get done. Is there anything else that we can do that requires just one scroll investment and then we can just build all the stuff we need? Let me go and have a quick check because it's not immediately apparent. So hang on a second, I shall go and have a little look around. Can we build another exciting teaching room? Okay, frustratingly, I think all the things that we would like to do require two lots of scroll investment in some way or another. I did think for a glorious moment that maybe we could turn that room there one of the new rooms we created in the middle of the school just to get a roof on it, we could turn that into a pyromancer's inferno because that sounds exciting. And the one kind of room requirement for that thing is that it has to be skewed. And that room is inadvertently skewed. I didn't make it skewed on purpose. It just is skewed and that would work quite well. So I thought, ah, what do we need for that? We need a fire teaching pyre, a lava amphora and a red brazier. So I went and had a look and they are over here I think so we would need to do there be dragons for 24 scrolls and then this class on fire gives us the fire teaching pyre and then it's another 96 to then unlock all the things down here right at the bottom there is the lava amphora so it's going to take a very long time indeed to work our way through all of that research just to get that room set up it's just a bit frustrating, isn't it? I just want to build the exciting rooms game. Let me build exciting new things. I want to see what they look like. So yeah, we still can't do that quite yet. We still can't do that. And then even if we do, we've got nowhere near the amount of Ignium we need to build the Iron Conduit to turn our lightning room into a proper actual lightning observatory. 
rather than just a sort of a teaching room as it is right now. So we're still a way off from that. That is the closest we're going to get. So I think what we might have to do is, although if we try and grow our own ones of those things, where are they? If we grow our own trapdoor vine planters, we need 96 scrolls to get that done and then 24 scrolls to get that research done and then 96 to get that done. So that's not going to happen. So although I don't really want this to happen, we might have to go down the route of the dark magic one and just sort of save up our scrolls. We still have a little way to go in terms of the dungeon diving. We are still sort of, yeah, okay down there. We've got a few rooms to go. So we are going to be able to grab some more arcane scrolls. So I think we're going to have to go down the route of a sort of a, a dark magic room, which is not what I wanted to do, but I think it's the most plausible one. I just can't see the other ways around it. So, um, yeah, we'll research that, please. We'll put some of our scrolls toward dark arts, which is not really where we wanted to go with it, but never mind. Um, and then, yeah, run time on nice and quick, because it's the end of the day. And I think, yes, to finish off... Oh, hang on, have we got the... Ah, there you go. Are you still doing the thing? You are bringing... Ah, Connor's bringing the sinew over. Okay, that's pretty good. So you're bringing sinew over. Um, so you can get that done. We'll turn you into a teacher, Connor, because that'll be exciting, because it's fun when you get turned into the teachers. We get to see what you look like in your sort of your older years. Okay, so you get blasted with a terrifying red laser beam out of this kind of spiky box thing. I'm sure that's fine and really comfortable. Um, and then, yes, we shall promote you to a teacher and then possibly... As a fun little test, you can come down here and just have a go in the stone ruins. But as a teacher rather than as a student, which would be quite exciting. Okay, we've done the dark arts research, which is good. So that's been cleared. So step one of getting ourselves a little kind of dark arts room is done. That's pretty good. So what did that give us? A dark teaching portal. Okay, so that's now ready for us to build. And we can build that stone spore cap and void cap. We've got those. That's absolutely fine. And then, yeah, we now have to go down to darker and darker. So that gives us a kindly mage's grave. Okay, I mean, hopefully we'll never need that because nobody's died so far. But okay, and a fractal mold planter. I don't think we've found much use for fractal mold so far. But okay, so we'll get that unlocked. And then, yes, it's down to 96 again. We need 96 scrolls. We're now on 69 of those scrolls. So we are not quite there again. We've kind of moved a little bit further away due to the 24 scrolls we had to invest into that bit there. Okay, so we'll try and get that other bit done. Um, so what have we got? A dark teaching portal. Um, and... It's really big and it will not fit in there. No. Okay, hang on. Hang on, though. This room is big and empty. Does the dark magic room require a special thing? The layer of dark arts just requires the things in it. It doesn't need all the complicated special rules about being off the ground or wonky or you know nothing above it, below it, to the left. It's not going to be the right colour, the perfect shade of sky blue, pink or whatever. So, okay. We are looking, we're looking good. I think we could put it into here. So to finish things off, let's just get the dark teaching portal in, shall we? Because we can get one of these. Um, we'll just pop that into the middle. We'll sort of put that into the middle of the room. Although, hang on, it needs other stuff as well, doesn't it? What else does the room need? It needs uh, also a yeah, chalkboard, dark teaching portal, obelisk and an eye globe. Okay, they might take up quite a bit of room. Might an obelisk and an eye globe. So possibly they should go around the edge. Okay, so let's try and move the dark teaching portal over as much as we can. So if we put it just there, the little dot is where the teacher stands, and then all the students can stand around it. So that should be okay. So if we put that like that, that's good. And then we need a chalkboard, because apparently that's important. We'll put that there, look. That'll do. Uh, yeah, there we go. So the first steps are underway to try and change that room into something exciting. It's a shame we can't see all the rooms, but there we go. Never mind. We've kind of been through it now. We know the deal. It's a bit of a nuisance, but that is the way it is. You know, early access. It's an early access version of the game. Maybe in the future they'll try and sort out and just make the end game a little bit easier to sort of progress through. Because it would be lovely to see all the things, but that's what we'll try and do. Um, and I think... Is it worth having one little final fight just to finish things up? And then when we come back next time, we will then get Connor turned into a teacher and then we can do all that kind of stuff. I think so. Let's nip into the lava mine, shall we? And just have one final little fight. Uh, let's bring Yuri along. 
There we go, that'll do. Right, so here we go. We'll finish off with a little bit of a scrap down in the new bit of the lava mine over here. And we'll just see what that's all about. Who wanted to come along into the lava mine, actually? Hang on, you wanted to overcome the burrow of lava, did floor. But we know that we can go there and fight the burrow of lava. So that's okay. So I'm not so worried about that. So uh, yeah, we'll just do one final little battle over here. Just waiting for Yuri and Jerry to rock up to the fight. Right, there we go. We're up against three things. That's quite tough at the front there. And those two are annoyingly on the back row. So we can't target those really until that thing is out of the way. Okay, we know what we're doing first. Earth armor, please. All the earth armor. Right, you can do a flame lash on that to cause 110 points of damage. That's very welcome. You can then Shadow Cloak. You can do that to hide away a little bit, which is good. You've absorbed some damage, which is wonderful. You've also absorbed more damage. Right, you can Earth Armor as well, just to add to our defense at the front. That's pretty good. You've also absorbed a huge pile of damage. Right, now it's back to us again. So, yeah, we can quake. Yeah, we can't quake you guys at the back either. Okay, smash you in the face with a big bit of wall. There we go. Oh, you're retaliating. You're retaliating. Well, that's just showing off, isn't it? Um, oh, okay. I don't know if we want to do that. Do you know what? We will vengeance the front row. So then if they get attacked, they're going to fight back. Um, and, oh, Uriah. Um, who's who's only on five out of 90 mana? Is Uriah down to five already? Oh, dear. Uh, Yuri's still got quite a lot. Um... Yuri, you tentacle lash that thing. You will take a bit of a hit back, but that's okay. You can deal with that, Yuri. You're quite tough. Right, we're now retaliating back, look. We're flinging stuff back at them, which is pretty good. Uh, okay, smash you in the face. You can go away. Boom, you go down. Beautiful. Now the back row is ready. We can now quake you guys. So, boom. That takes one of them out, I think. Is the other one gone? Yeah, that one's gone. Um... Ah, okay, yes, Uriah is completely drained. You can do 25 points. Do you know what? Why not? Just, yeah, a little kind of, a little tiny fireball. Uh, and then tentacle lash you, and that will be sorted. Okay, there we go. Wonderful. Iron and stone, we don't need that at all. Seven arcane scrolls, we do need. So we need 96 again, and we're on 76. So we need another 20 of those to then get all the research done. Uh, one thing we don't know is how many arcane scrolls we get when we do the burrow lava fight we don't know how many we get is it two or is it 30 or something i'm not quite sure so that'd be quite good as well to look into that but there we go everyone can have a bit of a medical rest you already need to lie down um but with that done we will wrap things up for now i think what we'll do is before we come back next time i'll move time on into the morning again because i don't imagine they're going to get that thing built and then, um, yes, when it's the morning, everyone will be ready to go and do some more kind of fighting and such like. And I think next time will be the final part of Mind Over Magic. I think we'll wrap things up next time. We should be able to clear these two bits down here so we can get through these two bits of underscore. That'll be fine. We'll have a look at whatever's going on in there in the Burrow of Lava rematch thing. Uh, we'll get Connor promoted to a teacher and we might bring another student in, possibly get another one in because, you know, we have got or the refining beasts that need petting, and the students do that. So maybe bring another student in. That'd be quite fun. Um, look at maybe getting Floor also promoted up to a teacher, because they are a gifted student with a level 2-1, so it'd be quite good if they could join the crew as well. But yeah, that's not overly critical to everything. It'd be nice to have, rather than a must-have. That'd be quite good. Um, and then we'll see... If we can just get one of these rooms sorted out, it would be lovely if we could just get one of them done. Just, you know, complete the lightning room or the dark magic room or even just, you know, as a curveball, get the kind of the fire magic room sorted out. That would be quite good. If we get that done, I'd be very happy. But yes, as we've seen, things do seem to take a while and there's quite a lot of hoops to jump through. So I'm not quite sure if we can do that. But yeah, we will wrap things up, I think, for now. And then next time, it will be our final visit to the Geek Cupboard School of Geekcraft and Geekery. But plenty to do in that final visit. So yes, let's not kind of, you know, sort of wrap things up too early. We've got another whole part to go through yet. So we'll come back next time, see how we get on. But we shall finish things up for now. Hopefully you are still enjoying this. If you are, please do leave a like. That would be most marvellous indeed. And also, if you're not already, 
then please do subscribe to keep up to date with how we get on here next time out in Mind Over Magic. But for now, thank you very much for joining me in the Geek Cupboard, and I'll see you next time. There we go, the king and kettle. It's this, it's Rob the Guard. Rob the Guard, he's a hero. He is Rob the Guard. He's got a feather in his cap. He's got a beard. This could be the planty room. <laughs> we could have so many plants. Hang on. <laughs> I feel like there's a book here to be written. We've got the executioner and the nun.